Jason Saltzman, the CEO and founder of Audi. My experience with startups over the past 15 years has given me the unique opportunity to connect with the brightest founders in the world. Join us while we learn from founders what it is really like to start a business. This is Resilience. Um, so my name is Sim Khan. I'm founder of Brimble and Clark Custom Clothing. Uh, I started out as a banking lawyer and uh, kind of built my business on the side originally, weekends and, uh, and after work. So tell us a little bit about where you're at right now. Company's been around for seven years. You can get fitted in Baltimore at the Brownstone location on East Preston or in DC at the Loft location on 4th Street. We're the only place in the tri-state area that can produce this shoulder construction. Okay. Uh, this uh, this uh, Spila Kamisha shirt shoulder. It's the softest shoulder that you can find um, anywhere in the area and it's 30% the weight of whatever else you have in your closet. So it feels like a shirt but it wears like just a beautifully well-cut uh, jacket. You have some amazing clients. How did you get these clients? Like, what did you focus on in order to drive, like, dip, like, all these, like, amazing individuals to, like, wear your shit? In the first year, um, I caught a break. I was in the casting process for a TV show called Fashion Star on NBC in New York, hosted by Jessica Simpson, Whoa. Nicole Richie. All, all right. That. And during that casting process, they put me through competitions. Through multiple rounds of casting, I beat out 20,000 competitors nationally what? to get in front of um, you know some kind of heavy hitters in the industry. I ended up meeting, meeting Rachel Bilson, who was Summer on the OC. And I'm okay, uh, yeah. part of Dixie now. She really loved the clothes. Um, after that, started getting clients from the Twilight Saga, X-Men, Captain America. I co-hosted an on-camera show called uh, Inside Look TV on the CW Network. Terrible time slot, but it was great to, for intros. Oh, and so... I met Pierre Garçon through that. So what we like to call this, and by the way, you are a baller, dude. <laughs> this is awesome. I, I love it. Like, if you could think about the worst situation that you've been through throughout the process of growing a business the trials and tribulations that you went through to get to where you are today what's like a story behind that i think one story that kind of that kind of stands out was a uh a kind of a risky play that i made and it, it was a few years ago i was growing the business i got tapped to collaborate on a fashion show uh, with uh, Becky Lee. She was a reality star on Survivor, and, she, and we, she had a domestic violence charity. So the idea was that we would collaborate. It would be, um, you know, 13 NFL, Major League Baseball, um, and uh, Major League Soccer players wearing Brimble and Clark suits on the runway for charity. Production was going great. Everything was going perfectly. Uh, then I went in, you know, for a routine dental surgery, okay? And... Um, mm. My face, uh, my kind of mouth is swelled, which I thought was normal. But uh, two weeks later, I was like a bullfrog. I, you know, everything okay. had swollen and I, was, and I was red. And I went into my doctor's office and when he saw me, his face went white. I mean, it just the, the it feeling can't be a right good now. sign. It was not a good sign. And he said, uh, this is urgent. Uh, this could be life threatening. Turns out I had developed an infection that could have spread to my brain. Oh he my took God. me into the um, operating room, jammed a scalpel into my neck, which is, the scar is right there. And um, he basically addressed the issue, but he said, this is a really serious problem. You need to rest up and, and kind of recover uh, from this. Uh, you know, don't do anything too significant. The show, the runway show was two days away. And so I had to decide, am I gonna do this? Am I gonna move forward with this thing? Or am I gonna, you know, kind of stay home, follow doctor's instructions? Was it a stupid thing to do? Yeah. Was it a risky thing to do? Uh, yeah, definitely. But I decided to move forward with the show. Footage of me from that day, like I was, I had a bandage on. I couldn't speak a lot because it was tough to talk, and um, and I looked really tired. But it was a really successful event. It got national press on TMZ, uh, Daily Mail. I had worked with NFL players before that. Uh, I met Kirk Cousins, a quarterback on yeah, the Redskins, during sure. that process. Yeah. And he's become a longtime client and real big supporter and booster of the business and um, that kind of thing it wouldn't have happened if I if I just you know followed my doctor's orders and I think the lesson that I learned from that is it's not really about resilience or not giving up it's more that if you really believe in something if you're super passionate about it if you you know are willing to risk everything to build it and pursue it and you know give your give your everything to it um, 
that kind of commitment pays off. I want to thank you so much for explaining and giving a little piece into your story, educating everybody that's learning about how it is to grow a business, the trials and tribulations along the way to really make it happen. And um, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you for having me.